Do you have a travel bucket list? Are you ready to check off some places? Well, Natalie Preddy is here with the top bucket list destinations and what to know about going there. Nats, you have been to so many countries. I'm on your Instagram and I'm like on the plane with you in my mind. So do you have a favorite? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a question. Um, there are so many amazing places and people and landscapes that it's really, really hard to choose just one. So like everyone else, I am trying to tick things off my bucket list. So there was this report that came out by the World Travel and Tourism Council that said we are almost at pre-pandemic levels when it comes to Canadians traveling, which is really, really exciting. And people aren't waiting anymore. Families, couples, they are taking things off their bucket list. It's really exciting. Yeah, I think people are worried, you know, if the world shuts down again, you want to get some <laughs> living in uh, before that happens. So what is the first exactly. destination you've got for your bucket list? Okay, so where lots of people are heading is Australia. I mean, it's far, but it is worth it. Some of the most amazing landscapes in the whole world. So let's start with Sydney. Sydney was actually listed one of the best cities in the world to live in. Um, but also, you have these beautiful views when you wake up every morning. Um, you can walk along the coast. They have coastal walks. They have a really great food scene. And also, uh, in Australia, you have the Great Barrier Reef. Now, it's not called the OK Barrier Reef. It is the Great Barrier Reef <laughs> for a reason. So many amazing species, the colors, the beauty. Like, it is, it is actually mind-blowing. It's one of the most amazing places I have ever snorkeled, and I think everyone should see it once in their life. Um, and also, um, the landscapes. If you go to the center of Australia, there are so many beautiful landscapes that have been there for millions and millions of years. Canyons, you can see fossils of fish on the top of canyons. It's wild. And of course, uh, Uluru, uh, Uluru, which is formerly Ayers Rock, um, which is a sacred, sacred indigenous place. Um, it's beautiful. You can see paintings there that have been there for thousands and thousands of years. The earth is red. Uh, it is just gorgeous. It's breathtaking that you really, really feel the majesty when you're there. I just love uh, jumping into the history of a place. And so it's nice to get a little bit of that taste of history. I think that it sounds beautiful. You just got back from Italy. Yes. How was it? Sure One of my did. favorite places on um, the planet. And of course, it's on the list. It is it is perfect. It is. It was actually perfect, Tracy. Like, <laughs> perfect. And and so you've been. So you know why it is on so many people's bucket list. It is history. It is food. I mean, essentially, I've been carb loading for two weeks, <laughs> and it's been glorious. So we started off in Florence. Florence, you've got some amazing, amazing religious history, which you can't top. You've got art. You've got, you know, that's the leather, a place to buy leather good, goods. The first ever Gucci store was in Florence. Uh, so there's so much to see. The food is phenomenal. And like, and you know, you're in the city and you want to head out. So you head to Tuscany, rolling hills, lots of wine. I know we all like wine. And what's great about Tuscany is you can have um, a liter of Chianti, just house wine for about eight euros. It's glorious. The food is magnificent. And you head through to Rome, same thing. You know, where else are you going to turn the corner and see a thousand-year-old um, cathedral right there? You know, it's it's just the history is is overwhelming. And then you head down to the Amalfi Coast, which you cannot put into words. No pictures do it justice. It is just the most beautiful place. And you can head along the coast. You know, you can head into Positano, which is famous, Amalfi, which is famous. But there's lots of little towns on the coast, like Ravello, um, Piano di Sorrento, where they have these gorgeous lemon groves and the views of Capri. It is actually perfect. And you can do some celeb spotting there, too. Sure can. OK, what, how about the celebs in Hawaii? I'm sure there are many there as well. But talk us through Hawaii. OK, so Hawaii has always been, you know, a, a synonym for luxury when it comes to traveling. And lots of people vacation there, lots of celebrities that you'll see there because there are stunning beaches. You've got fresh food. You've got amazing culture. Um, but what 
Hawaii's been doing for a long time and a lot of people don't know about is really focusing on sustainable travel. And for a lot of people that are traveling now, sustainable travel is something that they look for when picking their destination. So Hawaii started doing um, wildlife educational programs for kids in a lot of their resorts. Um, they've also uh, in, incorporated solar power and um, regenerative tourism, so planting trees, things like that. Um, so they re are really turning this beautiful paradise in the middle of the Pacific Ocean into a place that is luxury, but also education and focusing on saving the planet. So that's another good reason to have it on the bucket list. Okay, I think we got our list. Natalie, thank you so much. Excuse me while I just go book a trip and hop on a plane, because now... <laughs> I got to go travel. I'll meet you there.